I am rebuilding this lower unit and I am on the last stage to install the water pump. The part number for this unit you will see in the description. So you can see that I still have uh, the tool from the previous procedure. So, but the last procedure is to install the water pump in the user manual, in the service manual. It's right here. So I did all these steps on this lower unit. If you want to see how I rebuilt uh, this lower unit, subscribe. The video is coming. Now I remove the tool and we go to the water pump installation. I know that that is something that you need to do regularly. That's why I moved this procedure to uh, the separate video, the video that you are watching right now. So I will cover uh, if not all but some part numbers because all part numbers are covered in another video again watch the description or the playlist with along with this video and you will see everything about this lower unit we will check uh, all specific of this procedure that is described in the service manual let's try to rebuild our water pump the procedure starts from the assembly of the assembled ceiling. Well, doesn't matter if it sounds odd. Yeah, from the assembly of this part number. So here is ready everything included and here is exploded view. Yeah, uh, so it has the o-ring. You always need to change all ceilings. It said in the beginning of the user manual. O-ring one ceiling rubberized here is some metal part i don't remember where it comes from and another rubberized part actually in the video while i disassembly this it's covered also in the video about all parts numbers i just don't remember and if i remember right it's always cheaper to buy the full assembly of this part number at least i got this from ebay really cheap but if you buy the new if i remember right it's still cheaper to buy the ready one that's why i don't cover this procedure yeah here it also requires a special tool here is part number actually the user manual says if you don't have tool you can use a suitable tool and here all dimensions so i don't cover this because i think it's easy always and uh, probably really cheaper to buy the ready one so we come to here and here it says uh, apply ptf to o-ring seal lips and geohousing bore so uh, that is um, o-ring yeah here we will apply also uh, teflon so we have it here and uh, finally seal lips in the video uh, where I cover all the procedure about rebuilding this uh, lower unit. Uh, we discuss a lot about what is seal leap. They don't tell, uh, they don't tell here which one is the seal leap. But in my understanding, uh, from that side it seals from the oil and from that side from the water. So seal leaps from both sides so i will apply teflon here and here if someone is more smart then let me know so and then we go uh, right to this step The service manual doesn't say about the specific tool to push it there. You can use just the force of your hand fingers. I apply this tool that you use to uh, open or close the nut, which is there. It's covered in the video about rebuilding this unit. So we have it here. The next is to install this part number. Uh, it is here plate uh, kit. 
Yeah, so this is part number. No questions about how and where to install it. It fits right over here. Next is to install the gasket and the metal plate. So, and the it is asymmetric, so there is no question which side to install. That is the part number of the gasket. Of course, you should have the new one. The part number of the plate I don't know. I can watch now, but I don't want because it's covered fully in the video about all part numbers. So, and actually you can reuse the old one if it's still um, right here, the surface is suitable. It's also covered in the video where I disassemble this pump. So watch there. I checked it uh, uh, when I opened it and I know that I can reuse it. So we put it this way and it's quite simple. We put it to the housing. We don't apply any lubrication on this gasket according to the service manual. We just screw two bolts here now. So you can see six bolts. Guys, these bolts has an integrated washer. It's a special part number. Again, watch the video about part numbers. And when I disassemble this, you have to check that you have good thread on them. One of mine was broken, so I was needed to buy uh, a new one. So check it. It is very important and you should buy uh, this specific uh, uh, bolt. And um, the torque is 6.5. Eight uh, nm newton meters. So um, we will now screw this with this torque. A small improvement: uh, the service manual says secure to bolts, not uh, it doesn't say torque on this uh, moment. I understand why is that because we secure so that the plate is here, but we still. Uh, be able to move it in case if we need it. So I just uh, put the screw without yet applying the right moment. Torque. The next is the second ceiling and it's quite special. So that is the part number and it has what is called here in the service manual gasket bead if my French is well. So uh, that is the surface that make the ceiling. Yeah. And it says that we should lubricate the gasket bead with uh, Teflon and install the bead facing toward the cover. And the cover is that one. So we lubricate this with the uh, Teflon and we install it this way facing uh, this bead up. <laughs> The next is uh, to install the plastic washer, the drive key, impeller and another plastic washer. So plastic wash washer from both sides of the impeller and the key. So the plastic washer is that part number. It looks like it promised to have six, but I have four. Not sure. The impeller is that original part number and the key is this. I don't know part number. It's covered probably in my video with part numbers. But if you didn't lose it, then why would you need the new one? It also says that if you reuse the impeller, then install in the original clockwise direction of rotation. But guys, I don't know why you would reuse your impeller because usually you uh, rebuild the pump because you want to change the impeller and I highly recommend to use the new one and the original one not aftermarket with the right rubber so and the K will go there yeah and the washer from both sides so we just do this job right now and see this drive K it sits here yeah so it has place there so it goes to here So there's 
how it looks installed and yeah it's over the uh, ceiling uh, because it will touch tough the cover because you understand we have we need to have a water pressure here and the next is to install the cover and it says to lubricate it with teflon again from inside and rotate the drive shaft clockwise guys important because it works always clockwise so you should rotate it clockwise while pushing the water pump cover down and there are also tolerance for how much um, here surface remains untouched uh, inside so it's covered in my video probably when i disassemble the unit i don't remember but if you really keen to know you will research and find in my playlist and my nice descriptions so i cover this with teflon and we put it on the drive shaft it's my life and it's now or never i ain't gonna live forever i just want to live while i'm alive I've seen the procedure, I hope. So the gasket uh, moves, so you need also to fix it. So we did it uh, the last step, probably the last. And the next will be to apply Loctite to 7 one to these uh, bolts and tighten them with specific torque in sequence shown and it says that if uh, isolators or washer uh, equipped on the bolt you should use them we have washers and i covered it recently a few moments ago uh, how important uh, to use uh, these exact bolts uh, not nothing else not something else so and the sequence and uh, is shown here and yes guys i was right that you should just secure it don't tighten these bolts even without uh, watching forward i uh, recognize this so yeah so we now apply first second three four then we remove this apply loctite them to them and also tight them and it will be the end of the story probably because uh, yeah that is about the pump but it most uh, you need it when you already push the lower unit to the middle unit so i don't show maybe i will show you this on the high speed let's see quite boring procedure but I uh, decided to show you in the beginning that uh, I tried to set the bolt right well because you have metal there metal uh, upper plate metal and the gasket so you need to secure first uh, this all four bolts uh, and be careful otherwise you will um, damage the thread as it was in my case when someone else rebuilt uh, the previous unit for me since that time i rebuilt myself and guys 6.8 uh, nm is quite a low torque as you can probably imagine so yeah if you do it without the tool by hand you probably 
over tighten it. Uh, don't attempt to do this. Yeah, well, I really want to tighten more, but no, I should trust the tool. I hope the tool is fine. And guys, don't forget that you have uh, two bolts that you should open again and clean them with the greaser and apply Loctite and uh, tighten them with the right torque. And that's basically it. I did it. And the last part is this coupler that you also cover with Teflon and put here. But you actually do this when this uh, lower unit goes to the mid unit here. So I don't cover this. Actually, I cover it. So you just put it and then you it goes there. And I have video about installation, the right installation and some tricks. Watch in the same playlist uh, and you will see how to do this. And I hope that uh, this video was useful for you, you find something new, please remember to subscribe, because only this encourages me to share information with you, also your likes and comments. And see you next time. And watch the video about full rebuild of this unit, it is coming, subscribe and you will get notifications.